Okay, we are going to now talk about Herman Melville and his short story, I and My Chimney. You've probably heard of Herman Melville, another famous writer during the Romantic period in American literature. His stories, like Hawthorne's and Poe's, are deeply interested in the psychology and the conduct of people. You may have read his famous short story, Bartleby the Scrivener, the man who takes money from a lawyer to make copies and then decides one day that he prefer not to do any work at all and then refuses to leave the office. And you may have heard of uh, his novel, Moby Dick, about the maniacal quest for the whale that ends up with the destruction of everyone involved except for one survivor, Ishmael. Well, this story is not like those. I figured that you may have already read these stories or read that novel, so you might wanna read something a little different from Herman Melville. And we really should look at Melville because he's important as an American author during the Romantic period. Now, this story focuses on one central symbol, and that symbol is the narrator's chimney. He seems very attached to it uh, because he opens the story with it, saying that his chimney takes precedence over him, and in fact, his desires take a back seat to the desires of his chimney. It seems like his chimney always leads the way for him. Well, clearly, we're not talking about any old chimney. Clearly, this chimney has some significance beyond being just a place to keep warm. So, let's look at the details. He clearly thinks a lot about his chimney and values it more than he does even himself. And he seems, he seems to spend a lot of time around it or near it. And he seems always to be taking care of it, tending to it, making sure its needs are met, even though having a chimney uh, as a central part of his house causes problems for the people who live there. Now, his wife has taken a dislike to his chimney and she wants it taken down. She sees it as a hazard to the entire household because she thinks it will uh, you know, cause the house to burn down and really because she wants to redesign the house to make it more elegant. She goes so far as to write to a man who is a chimney specialist, Hiram Scribe. There's no symbolism there, I'm sure. He agrees to take down the chimney, much to the wife's happiness, but then he writes a letter and tells them that he has discovered a secret closet in the chimney. He says that the closet must be for the purpose of hiding something secret and that it would be unchristian to remain in that house with that closet in the chimney. Now, this idea of the secret closet, when the narrator hears about it, reminds him of one of his ancestors, a sea captain who had retired and built that house. Maybe the closet contains something that he left there. The narrator's really not sure. What he is sure of is that this sea captain died a bachelor and that there was a lot of gossip about him from the local people. And the narrator seems very annoyed that the locals should spend so much time discussing a quiet old man who kept to himself and never bothered anybody. So in some way, the mysterious closet in the big chimney is part of the narrator's family, part of his heritage, maybe even a part of his psychology. And he is very much relieved when Mr. Scribe comes to visit him a third time, and he confesses that he does not know exactly where the secret closet is in the chimney. The narrator sees this admission from Hiram Scribe as a defeat for the forces that would destroy his chimney, and he puts to an end all discussion of tearing the chimney down. So the question is, what does that chimney represent? And what about the secret closet? What does that represent? Does it have to do with the narrator's manhood in some way? Or is it symbolic of a dark secret that the narrator knows about and wants to keep secret himself? 